Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to configure primary and backup MX. Primary and backup MX means primary mail server and backup mail server. This is an incoming email failover scenario. What it means, this design will only work during the incoming emails, not for the outgoing email. If primary mail server gets down, then the backup one will receive all the emails so that we do not lose any mail during the primary mail server downtime. You can study more about the primary and secondary MX at my blog. Here I have elaborately described the primary and secondary mail server and how it works and what are the requirements I have described in detail. Primary mail server is responsible to receive all emails for the domain. If the primary mail server gets down, then the backup one will continue receiving emails and store the emails in its queue to deliver to the primary one. Backup MX cannot deliver mail to the user mailbox because it has no mailbox in it. Instead, it will wait for the primary one to become alive. So when the primary becomes alive, Backup MX hand over the mail to the primary one for the delivery to the users. So user will always get email from the primary one. Backup MX will only hold the email at its queue for this transition period. We have defined which server will be primary and which one will be backup MX at the DNS. In this design, we will configure primary and backup MX for the mailserverguru.com domain and we will test its functionality by sending email from another domain named the ironhide.com. So let's start the configuration. Here you can see I have logged into the systems. Here I have uh, mailer.mailserverguru. This is the primary one. And mailer2, this is our backup MX. And mailer.ironhide, this is the uh, sending domain. And this is the DNS server that I'm using. Here I have uh, configured the zone for the mailserverguru.com. And I have defined mailer.mailserverguru is the first MX. And the MX20 or the backup MX is the mailer2.mailserverguru.com. So from the primary mail server, let's uh, check the MX record for this domain. Here you can see that if we check the mailserverguru.com's MX record, DNS server response with the 10 will be mailer.mailserverguru.com and the 20 is the mailer2.mailserverguru.com. And currently we are now on the primary one. If you check the host name, full FPDN, mailer.mailserverguru.com. To make the video a little shorter, I have already configured this one. So let me show you the configuration. I have uh, configured the uh, primary mail server or the regular mail server with a minimum configuration. If you want to see a complete Linux mail server configuration, uh, I will suggest you to see uh, one of my video named the Linux mail server configuration step by step. In this video, I have uh, described elaborately how to configure a single domain mail server. So I have configured the server with minimum configuration. My hostname is the my hostname of the system mailer.mailserverguru.com. My domain is the mailserverguru.com. My origin is the my domain, inet interface all. It will listen on all interface, inet protocols all. My destination, uh, this mail server will receive mail uh, with the user form of user at the rate. My hostname is the mailer.mailserverguru.com or user at the rate localhost or user at the rate uh, domain name or mailserverguru.com. So with this form, this mail server will receive emails. And my networks is the local uh, my local subnet. So I am allowing uh, relay access to my local subnet 192.168.100 subnet and the loopback IP. So this is the minimalistic configuration of the uh, primary server. So this is not a full configuration and I have already installed here the Dove code to receive mail uh, from the Outlook, but I'm not showing you here how to install Dove code because uh, this is not a uh, Dove code or full mail server configuration tutorial. If you want to learn it, I'm suggesting you again, uh, please uh, see this Linux mail server configuration step-by-step -step video. Um, here in this video, I have described the full uh, mail server and Dove code installation with the web mail installation too. So let's end the configuration.
so restart the postfix so our primary mail server configuration is okay now if we tail -f for log mail log here you can see that i have logged into two remote desktop uh, one is pc1.mailserverguru.com this is the mailserverguru.com's uh, client and another one is the ironhide.com's client which is pc1.ironhide.com let's check the primary mail server of the mailserverguru.com let's send a mail that it can receive the mail properly we have a new user named munna so we are sending mail to munna at mailserverguru.com from his own account test test send and the mail server log shows the from munna to munna and it's delivered to mailbox so if we hit the send and receive button we should get the mail so our primary mail server is uh, working just fine so from the ironhide.com mail server let's check the dns record from the from this mail server also post minus t mx that it can uh, communicate with the uh, dns server and resolve the mail server group.com's uh, mail exchangers or mail servers So Ironhide also can retrieve the mailserverguru.com's MX record from the DNS server. So Ironhide.com mail server can communicate with the DNS server properly. Now let's uh, check the Ironhide.com's mail server that it is working fine. Test, test from the user Jennifer to user Jennifer. Let's run the tail. It shows that from Jennifer to Jennifer, the mail gone status sent to the delivered to the mail DIR. So if we hit the send receive button, we should receive the test mail. So our ironhide.com mail server is working fine and mailserverguru.com's uh, server also running fine. So if we send a mail from the ironhide to the user munna at mailserverguru.com, the mail should go without any problem so we have tail on the iron hide and we have tail on the mail server guru no problem let's send a mail to munna at mail server guru.com test two test two let's send the mail so mailer.ironhide receives the mail from the Jennifer and it delivered to Munna at mailserverguru.com relay is the mailer dot mailserverguru.com this relay means it transferring mail this mail to this mail server which IP address it resolved from the DNS which IP address is the 100.10 and the status is sent so now if we check the mailer dot mailserverguru.com log we can see here that from Jennifer mail came for the to moon at mailserverguru.com and it's delivered to mail dir so if we check from the moonas outlook let's hit the send receive button here we can see that from jennifer mail already received so our mail server communication from ironhide.com to mailserver.com is 100 percent okay so now what we need to test we need to test that now we will send a mail from the ironhide.com and we will shut down the primary mail server we will see that the mail uh, will be received by the secondary mail server and after that we will alive the primary one then we will see that the backup mx is handovering the mail to the primary one so let's uh, start the configuration of the uh, backup mx We have a very minimum configuration here just to say the my host name mailer two dot mail server guru dot com. We don't need to set any of the parameter here. We should comment it out and 
the server should listen on all interface i need protocols all that is okay my destination is okay we are not receiving any mail for locally delivery here just we need to specify the relay domains and here we need to mention the mail server guru.com now what the uh, backup mx will do it will uh, receive mail server guru.com's mail uh, for the remote delivery not for the uh, local delivery so we are done here now let's shut down the primary one let's run the tail from the backup one we need to see the details on the mail log and from the iron hide we are running the tail so let's send the mail from iron hide to moon at mail again test 3 test 3 let's send so now from the pc1.ironhide.com this is the ironhide.com's mail client so user jennifer sends a mail to the munna at mailserverguru.com now the ironhide.com receives the mail and it says from jennifer at ironhide.com and it uh, results from the DNS and it gets the primary mail server which is mailer.mailserverguru.com and it's trying to connect from the SMTP remote delivery agent it's trying to connect to the mailer.mailserverguru.com which is which says the no route to host and then the SMTP agent or remote delivery agent connects to the mailer to mailserverguru.com so it delivers to the backup MX and it says the status sent now let's see the mailer2.mailserverguru.com's log so from jennifer dot jennifer at the rate ironhide.com and it's connects it's trying also to connect to the primary one the mailer.mailserverguru.com it says the no route to host because the server is shut down and the mail is for munna at mailserverguru.com it says the relay none status deferred so status deferred means it's on the deferred queue so now if we check the queue with the mail queue command we can see that the mail is staying at the queue and it's trying to deliver on the mailer.mailserverguru.com which is shut down now that's why it uh, shows the no route to host so now let's uh, start the mailer.mailserverguru.com now our mailer.mailserverguru.com is live let's run the tail on the backup mx if we check the mail queue again the mail is staying on the queue now the question is how many days the mail will stay on the queue so we have a parameter postconf grape maximal queue lifetime the default maximum queue lifetime is five days so it will stay here for up to five days within this period periodically it will try to deliver the mail to the uh, primary mail server we will not wait for that let's push the queue to deliver the mail post queue minus f if we check the mail queue the mail queue is empty the backup mail server actually delivers the mail to the primary one here you can see that from jennifer to munna at mailserverguru.com and relay local and it's delivered to mail dir now if we check from the pc1.mail server let's hit the send receive here we have received the test 3 from the ironhide.com so we successfully tested the backup mail servers activity so we sent mail from the ironhide.com to the munna at mailserverguru.com and at the first stage we received the mail from the primary one and after that we shut down the server and we configured the backup mx the backup mx receives the mail during the primary one's downtime after the primary one become alive it resends the mail to the primary one so we have successfully configured the primary and backup mx and we have successfully tested the uh, total scenario so thank you for being with me 
and i'll see you on the next video bye